Peter Rogers, congratulations. Golden Easter egg winner. It's got a good ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really does. The $300,000 has a better ring. But no, um, the race was over at the winning post the first time round when he slotted straight into second place. As long as he didn't get impatient and run his race the way he run it, he was always going to be very, very hard to hold out. All accolades to all the other greyhounds that competed right through the heats, the semis and the finals. Um, all done a wonderful job with their greyhounds. The dogs that have travelled from interstate, um, it's hectic. I've done it myself and um, got beaten. But when you come here and you've got Simply Lion, like you got him on his own dunghill, be very careful of him. He'll get you. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of validation for him as well. As you said, he, he's a real tough sort of dog. What he went through last year, uh, it, it's the kind of stamp that he really deserved. Yeah, he did deserve it. He's been an absolute warrior for the last 12 months here, as I said before. And he just needed to win a race like this. He's been in seven group races in the last 12 months and he just could not get one. But they're very hard to win. They don't give them away. That's why not many dogs win them. So he's gone fantastic and pulled up a treat and it's just onwards and upwards from here for him, you know. So it was good. It was good. You said when I spoke to you earlier, it would mean a lot for Pat. What does, what does it mean for you as well, though? Well, it means for me, I've led my first dog out when I was 10 years of age. I can't remember what track it was, either Grafton or Armadale. The stewards were a bit more lax then. My father was injured at the time. Um, and, well, not my father, Ra Blake, I remember Raymond Gallagher. He was my mentor way back in the day in greyhound racing. And I've led the dog out, and I'm 67 now, so 57 years of hard grind to get here. And always had nice dogs, always had good winners, enjoyed the always enjoyed the sport but it just hasn't come overnight it hasn't but always knew there was a good race in the dog tonight was the you know the the the, the defining moment for him because you thought he's got the box he's got the dogs that are going to cart him into the race which they did and you think well if he doesn't win this tonight where are we going where are we going so he, he done he nailed it it was very good uh, you said 57 years what's the view like from the summit for, for who? What's the view like from the summit? You're at the summit now as a trainer. Oh, the, it's, it's... I'll be mowing yards, whipper snippering, picking up dog poo and feeding 35 dogs tomorrow as normal. Um, but you ask me what it meant to Pat. It means so much to Pat. She put so much into the dogs. She wouldn't care if the dog run 100 yards last or one. She doesn't care. And that's a great thing because the dogs have got such a... She's got such a rapport with the dogs. And it, it's just so good. It's just so good. And she just loves the animals. She does. And it's been, been a great journey all the way along. Um, but to get the dogs around safely, which we did tonight, is, is good. Winning is a bonus. And that trophy looks pretty handy under your arm. It's very heavy. I hope it's pure gold, is it? You can find out later. It used to be. Uh, you can melt it down tonight and let us know. I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations, Pete. Thank you very much.